again for the final time of the 2010 football season. Football fans, I'm Aaron Schoonmaker with Dan Spears. And just as we always do, we're going to recap the season. We're going to be real brief about it because we got a great uh, soundtrack to the top plays of the year. Mine's one was kind enough to get us some music, and uh, I was sitting down with it for a long time. But, Dan, let's get into the top storylines. What did we see this 2010 season? Let's go conference by conference, starting sure. in the Mideaster. Sure. It's a little bit of upheaval, I think, for once. Uh, for once. <laughs> You're used to the same teams being the good ones. And uh, this year there was a little bit of mix-up. Yeah. Uh, Hoggard down a little bit and Laney up a little bit. And it's nice to, nice to see a little bit of change. Uh, Newburn uh, ended up running away with things. But like I said, yeah. it's nice to see things a little bit different for once around here. Yeah, absolutely. You know, what I go back to is you talk about Laney. Back at the Jamboree, Greg Dietz, we sat down and talked to him. He called it that his team was going to make a turnaround, especially on the offensive side of the ball, especially in that passing game. We saw that. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. They, uh, they knew what they were talking about. Here's, uh, here's Greg talking about that way back in August. Michael Sheehan is going to be a great quarterback for us with uh, Ernest Andrews out there, Tevin Clay out there, Laquan Grady. Um, those guys are going to do a great job for us on offense and our offensive linemen. You know, um, Stephen Metzger, a senior there. We're going, to have, we're going to have a great offensive squad. Yeah, he saw that coming. Another thing we kind of saw coming was a little bit of a top-heavy Waccamaw. Some of those teams in the Waccamaw that really excelled and we, we thought they would. Well, East Bladen, you know, is always going to be good. Yeah. Uh, South Columbus returned to form after a one-year hiccup last year. Yeah. And uh, South Brunswick, we saw, we saw that they had a lot of offensive pieces. Was it, it was, could they put it together? Well, they certainly did. I mean, that was probably, uh, you know, second or third best team in the area yeah. by the end of the season. So, uh, very top-heavy there, um, and that, that helped them in the playoffs. They looked, those teams looked good once they got yeah. to the postseason. There was a surprising win in the middle of it by Whiteville over East Bladen. Sure. Um, a couple things you, you kind of expect and you don't expect as it's going to go with every season. Mm -hmm. One thing that one of the running backs saw coming is a 2,000-yard season, and uh, we got that at the Jamboree as well. Yeah, Ron Tony of Stanley for South Columbus said, I'm going to get 2,000 yards, and uh, sure enough, he proved it. Here's the clip. Both you guys going 1,000 yards this year? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know about him. <laughs> no, no, we're going more than 1,000. We're going about 2,000 this year. I got to make up for that. 2,000 each? Yeah, it don't matter to us. Both of those backs really had some good success. Yep. A conference that had some good success, especially in the playoffs, was the Tri-County. Well, that was, uh, you, with Wallace Rose Hill up there, you know the conference is always going to be talked about. And then Pender uh, finally got its breakthrough season, yeah. getting to the state championship this year. Uh, again, five teams in state quarterfinals, three in the state semifinals. It was the premier conference uh, for the little schools across the state. What wasn't even close. Yeah. And uh, just uh, some awesome football being played. There were about three or four weeks in a row yeah. there, there was just a huge can't-miss-it game going on in that league. It was fun to watch. Yeah, absolutely. You throw Union into the mix and the, the depth that uh, Hobton and, and Lakewood were able to accomplish. Yeah, and, and we haven't even talked about James Keenan yet. So, yeah. I mean, there you go. I mean, six great teams that they had this year. It was uh, very impressive football. A couple good head coaches, too. I'm sure we'll see those names again as, as print comes out. Yeah, something tells me that uh, <laughs> you're, we're going to be talking about the Tri-County Conference when the all-area teams come out uh, at, at, on Christmas Day. Another team from around the area that uh, found some success this year, East Duplin over in the East Central. They, we expected some good things. They didn't disappoint. No, they didn't. And they had a tough playoff loss to Tarboro, which was uh, Brian Aldridge's final game with the Panthers. He'd been there for over two decades. Um, uh, they really, really wanted to get to a state championship to send him out the door. That way it would have been a very, very fitting end to a very classy guy. Right. Uh, but uh, another great season over there, went undefeated, uh, what, 12-0, 13-0, heading into that Tarboro game, which they lost at home just by a couple points. So um, they lived up to expectations uh, and uh, unfortunately couldn't get that last step that they were really looking for. Absolutely. Well, uh, we are going to have the all-area teams coming out next week. Uh, Christmas Day, I believe, is when they come out in the newspaper, so be looking yep. for that. Some names that you've probably been hearing all year long. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they find that list. There's several that you know are going to be on there, and I think everybody around here knows them, too. Um, you know, Mike Sheehan is, is kind of obvious. Tevin Clay is kind of obvious. Omar Carr is kind of obvious. Yep. Um, and then you're going to see some names on there. You're like, wow, I didn't realize he had that good of a year. Um, we uh, all sat down on the staff after mm -hmm. we got all the uh, nominations from the coaches and everything, sat down as a group, Aaron, myself, Chuck Carey, Brian Mull, Tim Howard, Tom Grady. Uh, that was the most one of the most interesting conversations we've ever had for all area team because there were so many good players this year. So um, making the all area team this year was definitely an accomplishment if if you managed to get on one of those top two teams. Yeah, we sat down and we're hoping to have a ten minute meeting. We looked at our clocks; it was about 45, 50 minutes later. We're like, oh, we need to get going. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, it was tough for us to decide, and every right. player on that team is more than deserving. Oh, so. absolutely, absolutely. Congratulations to everybody in advance that's on there. Um, like we said, Christmas Day, yep. Star News Online. 
online and uh, in the Star News uh, print edition as well. Absolutely. And now the part that you've been waiting for, we've talked about all, the, all the what's going on. Now you get to see all the best highlights, all the best clips, the best hits from throughout the season. Once again, a special thanks to Minds One for hooking up the, uh, the soundtrack to Thank it. Thank you. You enjoy all the great hits and great highlights, and we'll be back for you next year. Thanks, guys. I'm working the syllables, considering the element used a few simile atomic dialect, nuclear energy, biological warfare. It's not the heat and the guns reaching the beacon when I'm speaking in puns. My tongue dissects the binary, the vocab is the code, hand chalk slant. Keep playing like that, baby. Keep playing like that, we take a free Let's go, dude. In the literal sense. So we explode with phrases, impact with words, rearrange everything, sentences emerge when you expand your mind or find what you Unhinged the rhyme, a brand new design Yeah, my man, that was a vivid demonstration The only limit to the rhyme Lack of innovation They're on the radio all the time Cats are imitation I'm going crazy in the mind Relax and be patient Match your frustration with incredible technique The industry is killing me Skip to the next beat The best beat digging in crates Yo, surprise the tapes of old school That'll get you in shape, it's timeless Why do people gravitate to the fake? They spineless You mean the whole design just to implode? Make your rhymes do the opposite mode Force Imagery, talk symmetry, with a topical flow, exhibit style when you rock and show. The more energy I feel naturally, passion is brought, descriptive, snapshot, slap shot, Stanley Cup, capture your thoughts. Exactly. And so we explode with phrases, impact with words, rearrange everything, sentences emerge when you expand your mind, a fine reinvention, unhinge the rhyme, a brand new design, explode with phrases, impact with words, rearrange everything, sentences emerge. Yeah. You wouldn't know how to make progress, but you keep on playing it safe. I guess whatever we could do, they could do better not like me. Better chance like me's gonna strike me twice. Devils dance to my tunes on the moon night. Prowling downtown, wolves howling. Step with exact plans. Slap hands with the trash can. That's my man's with Antarctic. Muscle freeze, heart disease, a large orbit. Rustling the leaves with moves, it's on target. I could play the part, I bet. Hey, yo, show's about to start. Find a Lenny Paddock pocket. Mine's one cut with a clever design. All of these rhymes want a dead of a lie. I'm for setting fire to the door. Got MCs front, 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 front. Total math, math, math. Masquerade, math, math, math. Masquerade, math, math, math. Masquerade, MCs casualties, however regrettable and however tragic. methods are necessary to achieve it.